Hey, how's it going, pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So, as you can see here, we have pool noodles and pipe insulators. So, this video is gonna be all about nine different uses for these pool noodles and pipe insulators in your pop-up camper. Um, as you might be able to see, we have uh, a purple and an orange pool noodle. We've been meaning to do this uh, video since last October, and these are the ones that we could get when it wasn't summer, which is kind of funny. So we've been toting these uh, purple and orange pool noodles around for quite a while, but nevertheless, let's jump into these nine uses for pool noodles and pipe insulators. All right guys, welcome inside the pop-up. Uh, before we jump into number one, a few quick notes. Um, Regarding the pipe insulators, those are kind of nice because they come with kind of, I don't know, a pre-perforated slot that, for, well, what you'll see coming up, is very handy in some instances. But for a lot of these other modifications or for the pool noodle uses, all you really need is, you know, some sort of razor blade to make a lot of these um, things work with pool noodles, cut them down or slice them, uh, things of that nature. So. Let's jump into number one. So a lot of you may have seen this modification and this comes into play mainly if you find that your canvas or vinyl is sagging a little bit. You might have some water pooling in the middle. But one of the common things that people really like to do is add pool noodles on their shepherd's hook. Now, the quick caveat is make sure your shepherd hook is expanded fully or properly. Um, they have little, well, where are they? Right there. You can, of course, expand and contract your shepherd's hook to uh, give your canvas a little bit more help. But if it's fully expanded, that's where these pool noodles or the pipe insulators come into play. I found that this three quarter inch stuff um, works really well to give you a little bit extra, you know, push up. Um, but if your canvas is really sagging, of course, a thicker pool noodle, this one's just kind of cut already and it's a little smaller but uh, you could do the full length that pushes it up even more now on the flip side if you need even more support um, especially out in these areas you can take either your pool noodle or your pipe insulator and kind of put it like that and going even further and especially because this is a known um, diameter on the inside this is a three quarter inch you could put a three quarter inch piece of PVC to give these um, pipe insulators a little bit of rigidity to get that canvas all the way up. That way, once again, you don't have any water pooling and your canvas is nice and taut. So for number two, we have our potable water hose here. And this is actually the one inch pipe insulation, which works really well with our potable water uh, drinking hose, our Campco one. Um, now this is really only applicable if your camper has plumbing inside and not routed underneath, so maybe you A-liner folks, et cetera, et cetera, but if it works for you, it works for you. I think the uh, pool noodles would probably also do in the pinch, but I definitely think the uh, black pipe insulator looks a little bit uh, neater and more professional. So number three, I'm gonna lump all of these into, I guess, quote unquote, safety, and that'll be self-explanatory once we get into it. And this is really where like these brightly colored or orange pool noodles really come into play. And I think you guys can see where this is going, but for those of you who like to um, have your awnings out and maybe have little kids, or I don't know, maybe you have a propensity for running into your awning poles, uh, these are really nice for, I don't know, just a visual indicator as well as I don't know, almost a safety uh, feature to put around your awning poles. So as you can see, they just slide right over after you throw a slit down them. And once again, easier to see. And if you happen to run into them, at least you have a little bit of padding. Additionally, if you have one of these handy dandy ball levelers or their counterparts, uh, you'll notice that the um, raising screw, if you will, I don't know the proper term for it, but that tends to stick out quite a bit. So we've actually had this um, pre-fit pool noodle for a while now, and that just simply slips right on over uh, that piece, and that way if you accidentally hit it with a shin or a foot, it doesn't quite hurt so bad. Now, this isn't as big of a deal if you have a slide out on the other side, and more, than, more often than not, you're raising that side at most campgrounds, but 
on the off chance you don't have a slide out or also on the unlikely event that you have to put your ball leveler on your um, you know main camping side on your door side this is pretty handy to have so you don't uh, run into it finally if you have little ones and if your pop-up camper has some sharp edges like we do on our slide out these rubber i don't know slip-on protectors aren't really going to cut it and that's where you know maybe I mean, shoot you could go the whole length if you needed to but uh for example if you just do one slit slip it on it's once again a nice safety protector for some of those sharp corners so if you don't have an indoor toilet Maybe something you might want to consider is a very cheap and expedient uh, toilet that you can put together with a five gallon bucket and some sort of seat. Now we have one of these handy dandy uh, seats that is specifically made for these five gallon buckets. But in a jiffy, and honestly, this might be more comfortable, you can take your pool noodle and I'm a sucker for orange and orange, right? That just makes it look good. You can go all the way around with your slit and make an expedient seat for your toilet bowl. Actually, what I'm going to do, go all the way around there and we'll cut this one off like somewhere in this vicinity. like a so. And there you go. Just make sure you have uh, your logo saying, let's do this pointed out front. So for those of you with one of these half travel doors, if you will, commonly they have these crappy plastic weather stripping that are supposed to keep water out when the roof is closed down, right? But these things are not that great. And actually for this application, especially if this fails, like if it completely rips off, these are like 15 or $20, which is pretty crazy for a piece of plastic that screws in. But if you want, you can take, and the half inch variety um, pipe insulator works really well for this. And this one isn't cut, uh, cut to fit exactly, but you get the idea. These just kind of slip right on and as you can see, they're still under where the top of our box rests. So that'll actually uh, complete a nice seal in case your crappy plastic one ever fails on you. All right, guys, for number six, I'm going to ask you to use your imagination. However, I will go and try to find some old footage from our StarCraft where this was very applicable. However, if you have... Um, either stove or sink flip downs that flip down onto, for example, just some sort of metal bracket. These pool noodles or the pipe insulators, whatever your preference, are really nice to prevent uh, that metal bracket from dinging up your perhaps newly renovated uh, sink counter or stove counter, et cetera, et cetera. So for example, in our old StarCraft, we had our stove right here, which then kind of flipped down over here, which then blocked the entrance, and there was that metal bracket right here. So what we would do is we would slide pool noodles onto that bracket just to give it a little cushion. Likewise, on the back side over here, our sink, which would be where those pillows are, flipped down into this area. Once again, there was a metal bracket right here. We put a pool noodle on it, and all that did was simply protect our nicely renovated countertop in our StarCraft for both our stove and sink. So for number six, while we're still inside the pop-up camper, um, have some modifications or, I don't know the best word for this, maybe shims for both your refrigerator and microwave if you have one. So let me spin you around here. So for your refrigerator, there's actually a couple things you can do with these pipe insulators and pool noodles. First and foremost, if you have some half inch um, pipe insulator, for example, that's actually a nice little thing that you can slip on to your shelves and then that will keep whatever's on your shelves kind of tucked up and tidy and that way it's not falling over. Um, but going beyond that, you can actually, and all the, all the refrigerators kind of vary and we have a high wall, so it's a little bit bigger one, but um, one thing that you can do in order to air out your refrigerator and freezer 
is put a pool noodle on your freezer. That way it doesn't completely close. You get that nice circulation. And that pool noodle also prevents the refrigerator door uh, from completely closing as well. So I don't know if I'd recommend this while traveling, but um, if you're at your store's location or at home and you want to uh, dry out your refrigerator, this is a great option. So for the microwave, and I didn't even plan this or stage this, but as you can tell, our, really it's a standard microwave. The turntable and the little turntable, I don't know what, even, what, what that's called, but the little wheel guy always gets off track when we're traveling. So one thing you can do is just slide a little pool noodle in there, and that way it kind of keeps that turntable and the thing under it from bouncing around too much in uh, your microwave. And in all honesty, probably two of these would work even better. So for number eight, and kind of rounding it out, this is another one that you may have heard of, and that is to use pool noodles as almost a gutter extension. Um, I've had mixed results with these, and we really only ever used them on our Jayco. Scratch that on our StarCraft because our J-code does not have essentially those J channels or gutters along the roof. So it kind of, uh, I don't know, makes these useless. But if you do have those J channels or gutters on the roof edge of your pop-up camper, these help as kind of extending that to get that water from maybe the rain or maybe it's just air conditioner condensation and it keeps it off of your canvas, which is nice when you're going to pack up and head home. So the ones that I made for our StarCraft looked kind of like this. So once again, I just kind of put a slit in it, but then I also did a little notch out where this interfaces with the roof. So I'll just show you as an example on our Jayco. So as you can kind of see this piece of material, oh, I have it backwards. This piece of material on the pool noodle kind of pops up and over the roof there, and then the notch out is for right there. And then if you had that nice J channel running across the end of your roof, that would allow any water coming down here to go into the pool noodle, and then in theory, right on out. Take four, that worked pretty well. All right guys, so there you have it. Eight uses for pool noodles, pipe insulators for your pop-up. Say that 10 times fast, right? Um, but I know I said uh, we were gonna go over nine uses. And of course the last one, why not just use your pool noodles that perhaps you're using on your awning poles or maybe your uh, bunk end supports, the full size ones as what their intended purpose is. Pool noodles, I know a lot of you like to take your kids swimming or maybe you do too, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the ninth use. Kind of lame, but uh, I thought I'd include it in there as kind of a dual purpose use for these. Now I want to leave it open to you guys. Um, out of those nine, um, were there are there any more uses that you can think of? Uh, we'd love to hear about them in the comments below. So shoot your ideas for pool noodles, pipe insulators for your pop-up. And with that being said, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.